everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the lavender market bag, which you can see here in front of you. This is the first market bag in the Marvelous Market Bag Crochet Along uh, that I'm hosting here on my YouTube channel and on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So this is our first bag that we're going to make this time around. Uh, I have done this crochet along in the past, so there are a number of other market bag patterns here on my channel if you'd like to check them out. This one features a, a little bit of texture and uh, rows of double crochet clusters. It's fairly easy to work. It's worked from the bottom up all as one piece including these handles when you come up to the top. For the pattern today I'm going to be using some Pima Cotton by Lion Brand Yarn. It's a worsted weight 100% cotton each ball contains about 186 yards. You're going to need uh, one ball of two different colors, so two balls in total. Today I'm working with this vintage color and this rose taupe. You're also going to need a five millimeter crochet hook and a copy of the free written pattern, which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, and uh, be sure to check out some of the other market bag patterns here. And as well, keep your eye open because for the next four weeks, we will be learning a new market bag each week. For our bag today, we're going to start by working down at the bottom using our color A. I'm going to be using this vintage color. Uh, you're going to start the bag is worked in rounds so we're going to start by making a slip knot and here you may use a magic ring if you'd prefer or what I'm going to do today is chain four and your chain four is going to count as a double crochet for the first chain three and then this is going to be our center we're going to be working into the fourth chain from our hook so into the fourth chain from your hook, you're going to work 11 double crochet stitches. Including that starting chain three, which counts as a stitch, you'll have 12 double crochet stitches in total. There's 10 and 11 double crochet. So including that starting chain three, we should have a total of 12. Once you have your 11 double crochet and your chain three, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that starting chain three. For round two, you're going to chain three, this counts as a double crochet stitch, and work a double crochet back into the same stitch as joining. You're then going to work two double crochet stitches into each stitch all the way around. At the end of this round, you can join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch, your chain three, and at the end of this round, you'll have a total of 24 double crochet stitches. At the end of round two, you're joining with a slip stitch into your first stitch and chain three. For round three, we're going to skip the stitch the same stitch is joining because we have our chain three coming out it's going to count as a double crochet you're then going to work two double crochets into the next stitch next double crochet into the next stitch and work two double crochets into the next stitch 
You're going to repeat that all the way around. One double crochet into the next stitch, followed by two double crochets into the next stitch. All the way around, when you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of this round, you'll have a total of 36 double crochet stitches. For round four, we're going to chain three and double crochet into the next stitch. Your chain three counts as a stitch. You're then going to work two double crochet stitches into your next stitch. Next, work one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. And then work two double crochet stitches in your next stitch. You're going to repeat this all the way around, one double crochet into each of the next two stitches, followed by two double crochets into your next stitch. When you come all the way around, join with a slip stitch in the top of your first stitch, and at the end of this round, you'll have a total of 48 stitches. For round five, we're going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet, and double crochet in each of the next two stitches. Work two double crochets into the next stitch. You're now going to work one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. Followed by two double crochet stitches into the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. followed by two double crochets into the next stitch. When you come all the way around, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of this round, you'll have a total of 60 stitches. For round six, we're going to chain three double crochet into each of the next three stitches, and then work two double crochets into the next stitch. Next, work one double crochet into each of the next four stitches, and two double crochet into the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around one double crochet into each of the next four stitches, and two double crochet into your next stitch. When you come all the way around, join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. For round seven, chain three, double crochet into each of the next four stitches, and work two double crochet into your next stitch. Next, work one double crochet into each of the next five stitches,
and two double crochet into your next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around one double crochet into each of the next five stitches. Followed by two double crochet into your next stitch. All the way around when you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. And at the end of this round, we'll have a total of 84 stitches. For round eight, we're going to chain three and work one double crochet into each of the next five stitches. Work two double crochet into your next stitch. Next, we're going to work one double crochet into each of the next six stitches. Followed by two double crochet stitches into your next stitch once I get the knot out of my yarn. <laughs> there we go. So two double crochets into your next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around one double crochet into each of the next six stitches. followed by two double crochets into the next stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch, and at the end of this round you'll have a total of 96 stitches. For round nine, you're going to chain three, work one double crochet into each of the next six stitches, and two double crochets into the next stitch. Next you're going to work one double crochet into each of the next seven stitches. and then two double crochets into your next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around, one double crochet into each of the next seven stitches, followed by two double crochets into the next stitch. At the end of this round, you're going to have a total of 108 stitches. For round 10, chain three, double crochet into each of the next seven stitches. And work two double crochets into your next stitch. Next, double crochet into each of the eight next eight stitches. Chain 
and work two double crochet into your next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around one double crochet into each of the next eight stitches, followed by two double crochet stitches into your next stitch until you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. And at the end of this round, you're going to have a total of 120 stitches. At the end of your round 10, you're going to have a fairly large circle completed. You're going to have a total of 120 stitches. Now for rounds 11, 12, and 13, so for three rounds, you're going to chain one and simply work a single crochet into the same stitches joining and then into each stitch all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join with the slip stitch in that first stitch, chain one and repeat. So go ahead, work three rounds of single crochet stitches that will bring you to the end of your round 13 and then meet me back here. Once you have completed your round 13, this is what your bag bottom is going to look like when it's folded over. You'll have worked three rounds of single crochet stitches. We're now ready to begin the bag sides. For round one of the bag sides, we're simply going to chain one, half double crochet into the same stitches joining, and then half double crochet into each stitch all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of your round one, for your bag side, you're going to join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. For round two, chain one. Now for round two, we're going to work half double crochet stitches in each stitch all the way around working in the third loop. So here I have the front of my half double crochet f stitches facing me but when I look at the back underneath this back loop only there is a loop that runs just below it and this is our third loop. So we're going to work our stitches working into this third loop only. So into each stitch in the third loop only work a half double crochet stitch all the way around. When you come all the way around we're going to join with a slip stitch just into the top of the first stitch. I'll work a few more half double crochet stitches and you'll see what this does is it's just going to push the tops of your stitches forward giving you a hint of texture here. So go ahead work one half double crochet in the third loop of each stitch all the way around and join with a slip stitch in the first stitch. When you come all the way around at the end of round two we're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of our first stitch and that brings you to the end of round two of your bag sides. For round three, we're going to chain two and double crochet into the same stitches joining. This is going to count as a cluster stitch. You're then going to chain one, skip the next stitch, and work a cluster stitch in the next. To work your cluster, yarn over, insert your hook into that stitch, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. You're going to do that one more time in the same stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. With three loops on your hook you're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops. That's your cluster stitch. You're then going to chain one, skip the next stitch and repeat. Cluster stitch, into the next stitch, chain one, skip one, and cluster stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around until you have one stitch remaining. You'll chain one, skip that final remaining stitch, 
and join with a slip stitch into the top of your first cluster stitch. At the end of round three, you've chained one, skip one, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first cluster stitch. Chain one. For round four, we're going to single crochet into the top of the first cluster stitch and into the next chain one space. You're now going to single crochet into the top of each cluster and into each chain one space all the way around. When you come all the way around, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of the first stitch. At the end of round four, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first single crochet. For round five, chain one, and we're going to half double crochet into the same stitch as joining and half double crochet into each stitch all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, you're going to join with a slip stitch and uh, in that first stitch and then you can fasten off your color A. So go ahead, work one half double crochet in each stitch all the way around and join with a slip stitch in the first stitch. At the end of round four, sorry, round five, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. And then at this time you can fasten off your color A. You're then going to pick up your color B and you're going to join your color B with a slip stitch into that first stitch. For round six, working with our color B, we're going to once again work half, a half double crochet into that same stitch as joining working in the third loop and then half double crochet working in the third loop of each stitch all the way around. So half double crochet in the third loop only of each stitch all the way around. When you come to your first stitch you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. At the end of round six, when you come all the way around, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. We're now going to work a number of repeats. I'm not going to work them fully in the video tutorial, so go ahead and grab the written pattern on richtexturescrochet.com, but I'll explain them to you here as well. So we're going to work the rest of our body of our bag. You're going to continue working with your color B for rounds 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. And you're going to repeat your rounds 2 to 6. And then you're going to switch to your color A uh, in that re repeat of round 5. And then for rounds 12 to 16, you're going to continue working with your color A. And then rounds 17 to 21, repeat your rounds two to six uh, for your color B. And then you're finally going to switch back for your color A and work one more repeat of rounds two to five. And uh, that will bring you to the end of round 25. When you have done so, you can meet me back here and we're going to finish off the top of our bag together. At the end of round 25, this is what your bag is going to look like. You have your bottom down here and then your repeats. You're going to have a total of three stripes worked in your color A and two in your color B. You're then going to work, uh, join with a slip stitch, chain one for round 26. And once again, working in the third loop 
you're going to half double crochet we're going to continue working with our color a i should say so working with your color a half double crochet into the third loop of each stitch all the way around you're then going to join with a slip stitch just into the top of that first stitch At the end of round 26, you're going to join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. You're now ready to begin the bag top and handles. So for round one of the top, working with color A, we're going to chain one. You're then going to single crochet in each of the next 30 stitches, beginning with the same stitches joining. So single crochet in each of the next 30 stitches. There's 10. and 20 28 29 and 30 once you have worked a single crochet in each of the next 30 stitches you're then going to work your first handle or I should say the foundation chain for the first handle. So you've single crocheted in 30 stitches, you're now going to chain 40. You can change the length of your handle if you would like by chaining more or less. Just remember to make note of it for when you come across to the other side. The other thing to take note of while working these chain stitches is to keep them fairly loose because we're going to be working into them later. Ten, twenty, thirty, And 40. Then being careful not to twist your chain, you're going to skip the next 30 stitches on your bag. So count 30. Then into each of the next 30 stitches, you're going to work one single crochet. So skip 30 and then work one single crochet into each of the next 30 stitches. There's 10. And 20, 30. and 30. You're then going to work your final handle 
So you're going to chain 40, or if you chained the, uh, changed the number of chains you're working, you're going to work the same as on the other side. There's 10. And 20. Thirty and forty. You're then going to skip the remaining stitches on your bag and join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. That brings you to the end of round one. Now for the next uh, five rounds, rounds two, three, four, five, and six, you're going to chain one and then single crochet into that same stitch as joining and into each stitch all the way around. And that's including your chain stitches. So you're going to single crochet into each stitch and each chain stitch all the way around join with a slip stitch in the first stitch, chain one, and repeat. You'll want to work five rounds of single crochet stitches. There'll be 140 stitches at the end of this round. And then you're going to fasten off, weave in your ends, and your lavender market bag is then complete. So that's all there is to working this bag. Thank you so much for joining me. And uh, once again, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, and I look forward to seeing you again next week for another great market bag pattern. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.